Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Nat. And this is the Hire Yourself Podcast. Each day we will publish a short episode on franchising and owning a business. These small bits of information will help you be a better entrepreneur and business person. Between us, we have 75 years of experience and have owned and ran nine businesses and counting. Hi, I'm Sean, and if you've been listening to the previous episodes, you know I am the producer of the Hire Yourself podcast. You're hearing from me because these first episodes all feature me asking Nat and Pete a question about franchising, because I know essentially nothing. And today's question is, what is a franchise fee or a royalty, and what do I get from that, and how long do I have to pay it? So when you look to invest in a franchise, there are two kind of core investments. So or I will say up front, you're paying a franchise fee. A franchise fee is you're buying the rights to use a business model, the systems, the process, procedures, the brand for a period of time. So you may pay $60,000 to have the rights to use that business model for, say, 10 years. So up front, you pay a franchise fee. And then on a going basis, you're paying for the support through what is called a royalty. Now, generally, only a royalty is a percentage of your revenue, like 3% or 6% or 8%, whatever it may be. But those are the two core investments you'll make or the way in which you pay the franchisor. And so what do I get out of my franchise fee? I think um, the way I think about it is you get a proven product or service and you get a proven sales and marketing strategy. Um, so what you're trying to do as a new entrepreneur is reduce your risk. And then you're also trying to speed up your time to market. Um, you know, a lot of times I talk to guys that are kind of struggling with all this. And so, you know, I'd be like, you know, hey, why don't we just circle back, uh, you know, in uh, six months or something like that. And we circle back in six months and they're still in the exact same spot that we, we left off. And they're still, you know, kind of trying to figure things out. Um, with a franchise, literally, you can go through this process and you can figure out what you want to invest in and you can be up and running. It's really a business in a box, which I think is really important. And you can't, I don't think you can underestimate the speed to market. Um, if you're looking at opening up um, light retail, you know, it might take nine months to get open, but they have, you know, just a long line of um, subcontractor or, you know, they have a long line of resources for you as a new franchise owner. And you really could actually open up those locations as fast as you want. Uh, once you get into the system. So the, and I, yeah. And I think Nat, to the point you make is that when you invest in a franchise and you pay that franchise fee, you're, you're investing the money that way. If you were to go do it yourself, you're going to invest that money trying to figure out what your product or service is, how to market that. And so you're going to burn through a lot of capital. And so in many ways, you're investing the same amount of money. You just, it doesn't, it just different. Right. And so people don't kind of put that together is that, Hey, listen, I was going to go out there. I'm going to spend all this capital. Uh, if I do it on my own, or if I can just pay a franchise, a franchise fee, uh, then I'm, compressed time, as Nat always says, and it allows me to have a smoother path or in many ways, a improved chance of success. Yeah. Unless you're really the guy that wants to figure out the logo, the website, the technology, um, all that kind of stuff. It's much more comfortable. It's, I, I, it's a little bit overused about that whole concept of reinventing the wheel, but the, um, with franchising, you literally do not have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to you just have to do the work. I think of it like the gas in the engine of a car. You're the gas and uh, you can be up and running. Most guys that we're working with will typically, you know, invest in a franchise in 60 to 90 days. Um, I just was having a thought um, because the territory always kind of changes. So again, going back to the guy that kind of was like, oh, I'm going to wait six months. You know, by the time we get reconnected, you know, the franchises that we were looking at you know, half the time they're already purchased and not available. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this or any of our episodes, please subscribe to the podcast. And it would be absolutely amazing if you give us a rating and review. We hope you listen to us again tomorrow. <laughs>